When someone already has primary hypothyroidism and they become pregnant, it perhaps exacerbates the hypothyroidism. So you already have a thyroid gland that is has lymphocytic infiltration, for example, and it's fibrotic, and this is your glandular, these are your glands, and TSH, so before pregnancy you have an increase in TSH and a decrease in T3, T4. And you replace the thyroid hormones so that you have an increase in T3 and T4 and that it feeds back and that the TSH gets closer to normal. However, what happens in pregnancy is you have these binding globulins increased because of estrogen, because as you remember, in pregnancy you have increased estrogen compared to before the pregnancy. So you have these thyroid binding globulins, and so whatever thyroid hormone you give, much of it gets bound to these globulins. And if you remember, I also said that you have a beta HCG in the pregnant state which stimulates the thyroid. But the thing is, if you're if you have primary hypothyroidism, no matter how much the beta HCG stimulates it, there's not going to be any increase in thyroid hormone. So in response, what happens in pregnancy is you have severe, severe increase in TSH and a severe decrease in T4 and T3. So what you have to do in free T4 and free T3, so what you have to do is you have to give a lot more thyroid hormone replacement. So much so that these receptors get saturated on the thyroid binding globulin and you have more free hormone in the circulation. Thank you for watching my video.